ഹായ് ഇക്സ് മിനി ജോ വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് പവർ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ഡയറീസ് മൈക്രോസോഫ്റ്റ് അഡ്മിറ്റ് മെനി അനൗൺസ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ദിസ് ഇയർ ഓൺ ദ പവർ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം സ്റ്റാക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഐ ഗസ് യു മൈറ്റ് ബി കൺഫ്യൂസ് വിത്ത് ദ ടൈംസ് സി ഡി എം സി ഡി എസ് ഡേറ്റ ഫ്ലക്സ് പ്രോ ആൻഡ് ഡേറ്റ വേഴ്സ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദീസ് മൈ സിമ്പിൾ ആൻസർ ടു ദ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സി ഡി എസ് ഡേറ്റ ഫ്ലക്സ് പ്രോ ആൻഡ് ദ ഡേറ്റ വേഴ്സ് ആർ ദ സെയിം തിങ് initially when it was released in 2016 microsoft called it a command data service or simply the cds then in early 2020 microsoft renamed that to dataflex pro but they had to pull out that name due to a trademark dispute and in november 2020 microsoft again renamed that to dataverse so basically these are the same thing or these are the different names for a technology now let's see what is cdm the common data model and what is the relationship between cdm and dataverse or the cds microsoft has researched and identified and documented a common database schema for enterprise applications so this can be used by multiple application parallel they have the documentation ready in hand cds or dataverse is nothing just a sql server database managed in azure and which is defined using the common data model schema and this database has very user friendly low code interface which is nothing just a power platform so you can extend this database with low code and you can modify it using pro developer tools as well that's the beauty of dataverse you can develop a very complex application as well as very easy application without writing a single line of code so it provides the services for that that is called common data services or dataverse and you can quickly develop applications using this sql server without much hassle or knowing the backend details which are the power apps and the power platform i hope this is clear if you need more uh, further details or more explanation please watch the rest of the video i'll be explaining these two points cdm and dataverse in detail thank you cdm the common data model is part of open data initiative a jointly developed vision by microsoft adobe and sap As the name mentions it is a common data model for business applications i'll make it more simple for you to understand microsoft has invested so much time in understanding and identifying this common set of tables used in enterprise application databases tables they are related relationships attributes the columns so all these they documented as a model so that whenever you want to develop a new enterprise applications we have a defined list of the tables attributes and related relationships or logics required to go live so it helps you to quickly develop an application so you can call it as a shared schema or shared metadata or a common data model which means we have when when we are going live with a, or we are planning to develop an application enterprise level applications we have a list we have a document so you don't have to research it from the scratch you can develop on top of it so i will make it more clear you consider three business application one for manufacturing one for sales and one for marketing so in, in a traditional mechanism what we will do is that these three application will use three different databases and if required we can integrate this application using some integration tools or web services or apis so these apps can communicate each other but with common data model what happens is that these application use a common database and or in another way these three different applications are built on top of a single database so that the integration is easy because there is no integration required these all are using the same database and you don't have to replicate or re- duplicate tables in different databases which means again to simplify it the manufacturing app will have a table for products the sales uh, application will also have a table for products the marketing will have also also a table for products similarly there will be other tables like currency then customer for especially for sales and marketing there will be customers or opportunity these kind of common tables are there so even if you are going with three different tables essentially these common tables will have the same structure the same set of attributes same set of fields and relationships so why do we have to create a different or duplicate tables in each different database so we can avoid that and we can make a faster integration 
and uh, even reporting will be much faster. I will simplify it. If you th- consider a company is developing these three applications, so they have started with manufacturing app- application. They are using common data model, and they haven't started sales and marketing application. Now uh, you wanna develop some uh, report based on these common tables we discussed. So what happens? In a tra- traditional mechanism, we have to wait till the other application development or at least the database schema is defined. But with common data model, you don't have to wait till other uh, table structure is defined because you already know uh, if I need a customer, customer is an account table. So even sales and marketing will be using the same account table. You know the attributes, you know the relationships. So you can go with your development parallelly and with more confidence because you know the table schema or you already have the table metadata with you so you can directly go with parallel development easily so it helps you to develop applications much faster so that is what is called the common data model and this is a uh, high level representation by microsoft on the common data model there is a common uh, core tables uh, called account activity contracts currency email call you can see these are the com uh, core table list then dynamics 365 currently most of the tables they are obtained from the microsoft dynamics 365 because they have sales service finance supply chain commerce uh, talent hr ma- uh, marketing so these all these tables are there so all these they are adopted into cdm and documented well and not only the tables you can see here over here in accounts they have defined the attributes the columns as well account number account rating code creator on credit limit these relationships everything is defined as part of the cdm so you can refer or you can use this schema or this blueprint to go with your application development not only that microsoft is joining hand with industry experts and subject matter experts to identify the common data model for each industry for example for healthcare you can see over here you can see patient will be a common table in almost all the healthcare applications or medication procedure device care plan so they have identified and listed for healthcare micro you might probably you might have heard about industry accelerators microsoft has other industry accelerators like like education non profit banking so they have identified the common data model for all these industries so you can develop application for these industries much faster so why should i use this cdm structural and semantic consistency is very important as i just mentioned you can the table you can go with your development or go forward with your development because you already have the schema with you then simplified integration that also we discuss unified shape will be there easy reporting and ability to extend so these are the advantages provided by cdm and there are other core parts also, but I'm just uh, time being, I'm explaining from the point of Dynamics 360 for or a Power Apps developer. So let's see what is Dataverse or CDS and how it is related with CDM. You can see I have already written over here is that CDS is actual instance of CDM. CDM, I just, I clearly mentioned the term. It is a documentational, it's not, it is not implemented anywhere. Microsoft has identified these are the tables required these are the relationship these are the fields but it's not implemented anywhere it is just a model but cds as the name mentioned it is a service that enables cdm or dataverse is the actual database or data store for cdm uh we can again simplify it you can see if you're creating a new environment of cds or dataverse it would automatically build the required tables based on the CDM schema. Let's flip to CDS. You can see over here, this is my CDS environment. And this is a fresh instance I just created now. You can see it automatically created these tables based on the CDM. You can see account, address, appointment, attachments, business unit, contact. These all are recording almost all the business application. So consider if you are developing it right, how much time it would take you to create First of all, you have to defend these tables, then you have to create. So the time, uh, the amount of time you can save using common data service or the dataverse. I can open the account table now. You can see more than 100 plus fields, the columns uh, columns are defined. So you can change uh, the field level requirement over here. You can see it is required 
and the data type is defined you can see text choice floating number unique number and all these things are defined again you can see the relationships are defined by the cdm because cds is using the cdm as a reference common data model it is using as a reference and when you create an instance itself, you haven't done any development you haven't created any i haven't performed any development activity it automatically created everything business rules it's for custom logic and views uh, the filtered views are already created the forms uh, which means the screens are automatically created the standard screens it is there you can easily develop uh, so you can save time there as well then if you go back let me open the account table again you can see the dashboards charts keys so these things are already defined by default using the cdm then now my company needs to develop an application i don't have to uh, spend much time on defining the tables i can simply go and choose the type of application i need whether a canvas application or model driven application or a portal simply click and create using the table so how fast you can develop an application this is a key point over here so if it is a very simple application you can even go live with an application in one day or two day based on the complexity but yeah even even with one day you can go live so that's the beauty of using cds now flip back upside so why should i use cds or the dataverse work with any type of data the cds supports different types of data like relational data or non relational uh files images these kind of data you can create any type of application like mobile application desktop application web portal so all these can be developed using dataverse then reusable business logic as we have seen over there you can create business rules or calculated fields or all of fields workflows all these are already available there you can just extend then you you can reuse your skills in dynamics 360 and power apps in between like Uh, if if you are expert in if you are an expert in dynamics 365 you can use that skills in developing power canvas app or you know how to develop a canvas app you can use some of the skills in developing dynamics 365 and you can build apps against your dynamics 365 data this is very important point let's flip back let's take the data you can see i just showed you right the columns fee, uh, the relationship business rules or everything is defined by cds using cdm now i have the data all here so if my company wants to develop another application for the management users or the sales people a separate application i can develop an application not a dynamics 365 application i can use a canvas app or a, a simple power app using the same data because that data that app will be using the same database so you, i i can uh, quickly go live with an application like i just mentioned before you can go live with even one day for we'll take a simple case these are my customers so my manager needs just a contact information of all the customers in his mobile application it needs to be updated a simple application is required i already have the data in my cds database or in my dataverse database so i don't have to spend time in developing the database or restricting anything i just need to simply go and create a new canvas app then this hardly takes uh 3 2 or 3 hours and you can go live with the application because everything is well defined inside cds let's flip back support citizen and pro developers if you are a citizen developer with low code no code you can develop and if you are a pro developer you can develop complex and advanced system using the sdk so it supports both or it joins the both ends of the world then easy to manage Yes, it is stored in Azure Cloud. You don't have to bother about the backend storage and maintenance, backup, etc. It is everything is handled by Microsoft. Easy to secure. This is another important point because when you develop an application, security is very important. You need to define who needs to see the data, who needs to be able to edit the data, who needs to be submit some records, who needs to be able to create the data everything so this mechanism is already implemented as role based security in cds so you can you, whatever application if you are creating a model driven app you don't have to bother about the security mechanism you just need to configure the roles assigned users it is inbuilt in cds then a uh, rich metadata you know all the type of uh, data uh, data types and uh, maximum input it is there microsoft is getting maximum input from others and implementing or developing the schema day by day so 
you can see uh, maybe in another couple of months there will be more uh, industry accelerators so that it will support almost all the industry in the globe, the globe. so it is easy for you to, to develop an application so let's simply flip back you can see uh, the keys charts uh, data not, not only that policies data protection policies inside like uh, to prevent accidental uh, data leakage you can define data uh, data leakage policies so it is kind of a complete package for you to develop an enterprise application or in another words cds the dataverse and cdm together make you or provides you an industry ready application to go live quickly with your application development like you can create application in lightning speed so that's it i hope this helped you to gain a basic understanding on these uh, terms the cds or dataflex pro cds what what are these things and i hope this helped you to avoid the confusion if you have any feedbacks just type in as a comments or let me know ping me in my website or linkedin thank you bye bye